Hey man, it's the ISO guy, Sensei. We done got some next gen. NBA 2K21 gameplay news. I'm gonna break it down so you ain't gotta do all that reading. I know, I know a lot of y'all's comprehension skills is terrible. I got a hundred in comprehension in English, man. So you know, I'm a I'ma help y'all out to crack the code and what they really saying and what's most likely gonna have in the next gen. And also, if y'all didn't know, some nigga hit legend. <laughs> nigga hit legend in like 40 days, bro. 40 days. Down in the comments, y'all let me know how many games y'all have played. I think he had like, like 7,000 games all together. Like, what the, f what the fuck? Y'all let me know how many games y'all have played all together down in the comments, bro. That's crazy, right? Like, God damn. Nigga, niggas, man, niggas had to be right having that account running 24 hours a day with the boys. Shit is crazy, man. <laughs> I think he had like 60K views or something. I don't know, bro. Anywho, man, peep the fit, peep the fit, peep the fit. What y'all rate the fit, man? I look clean in a bit, nigga. Dude, what you talking about, nigga? Fuck Brooklyn. But I look clean in a bit. Anywho, man, before we get into the video, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. 300K on the way. Subscribe. What are you doing with your life? Like up the goddamn vid if you hear my voice. If you get next gen next year, let's try and get 2,000 likes as fast as possible. Helps the vid getting recommended. So like up the video if you fuck with me, bro. But anywho, so before we get into the gameplay news, we got some leaks from little Steve Noah. I don't know exactly what he does. But I know he's something. I don't know. But um, I guess he's showing clips of eight of the things that the gameplay blog is talking about. Defensive off ball. Okay. Let, let, let's see what this look like. Hold on. Hold on. Let's full screen it, man. Hold on. Okay. Oh, are, are we going to be able to stop the off ball cheese? Y'all let me know if y'all think they're going to stop the off ball cheese in next gen. I don't, I don't think so. But hopefully, man. I mean, if they make it a, a point, like, I mean, you would think they're trying to do something about it. Let's see what this is. Foot planting. Ooh. 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 Walk backs are back. <laughs> do do y'all remember walk backs from 2K18, bro? And 16, n niggas would just be driving and then just start walking back because defense is so bad. Hey, uh, hopefully, I don't know. I, I like the move. I thought it was nice. But, um, yeah, hopefully they fix defense. Let's see. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Next gen body ups. Okay. I like body ups. In 2K, bro, in 2K18, that defense was so trash. But if y'all actually go back and play that hoe, when you would body bump niggas, you would, like, throw that nigga. Like, <laughs> bro, do y'all remember that shit? You would literally... Someone will be coming at you, right? You'll lock onto him, and sometimes your nigga will just push him. And then he'll have to, like, what? Like, why wasn't niggas complaining about that shit? I guess we just got adapted to it. Like, it was just like that right there. Ooh, the, I guess the body bumps don't work, nigga. Nigga got, look, like, like that shit, but it was, like, further. <clears throat> Off-ball contact. So they're saying off-ball screens is more OP? We don't like those. Oh, shit. Man, oh. No. <laughs> what, are, what are they doing? Screens are already OP. Y'all like up the video and let me know if you think screens need a nerf, bro. Okay, let's see what else they got. Contact in the paint. I love this. I love this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, I assume if they're making stuff a point of emphasis, they're going to try to address it, which is cool. Contact in the air. Okay, bro. There, there's like a cheese, bro. You just give it to somebody like while they have momentum and they can just hold square and like almost make it every time. It's like broken. Um, I guess it's for contact dunks, but 
whatever, bro. Why is this nigga Howard's hair spiky, nigga? His hair is not spiky. Like, these niggas can't make dreads? Like, what is this nigga, a white boy? What is this shit? His hair has never been like this. Has his hair ever been like this? I've never seen it, like, on some spiky shit like this. Take a charge. Okay, here we go with these toxic niggas. Man, please just don't allow charges in park. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about charges in park, bro. I think that shit ass. <laughs> that shit ass as fuck. Niggas don't even be trying to guard you. Just take a... Haptatic feedback. Read the full blog here. Wait, what is this? So wait, what is this? They're trying to say buff pick dodger? Okay, let's see what NBA 2K is saying. Next gen, blog two of three. Rebuilt dribble movement. We'll, we'll see. Improved motion on defense. More realistic contact. New foot planting tech. PS5 exclusive controller features. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, they just trying to hype it up right here. Hey, if y'all want to see me breaking down the... Uh, the first gameplay blog, I'll leave a link down in the description. <clears throat> okay, so in this little paragraph right here, you know, summarizing Swan in the building, if you want to read the full thing, I will link it down below. Subscribe, like the video. But apparently, next gen movement is supposed to be world class. Something called on court locomotion is going to be improved for on ball and off ball movement. Let, let, let's hope. I don't know what local mo motion is, if y'all know, but, um, yeah. Um, the only, bro, the only thing I hate is when they try to implement more, like, contact and stuff, it kind of ruined the game. It was introduced in 2K18, bro. I'm going to keep saying this. You can't run, like, through or by your own teammates. So it's like they're setting a screen on you. I know y'all say, yeah, that's not real. But for a skill gap perspective, bro, with how much cheese is in the game, bro, you, you can't make it to where running into your own teammates, like you'll be stuck in a wall if you don't go all the way around. It's like really broken. And like, for instance, say I'm driving to the hoop, I beat my man, three people crash down on me or two people crash down on me and they're in the air, right? I don't jump, I don't take the layup or nothing. I pass out to the open man and when I pass out to the open man, it will hit the nigga that's in the air, even if I wait. I shouldn't even have to wait. I should be able to throw it instantly, just like the highest skill gap 2Ks. But for some reason, my player is stupid, and he hits the nigga that's in the air instead of passing it around him, whatever. So it's an easy three, and, you know, they get penalized for bad defense, for for leaving the man wide open, but it bails people out. They won't fix it. I keep saying it. I don't know. It's an it's one of them. It's the one of the most annoying things in 2K history, bro. That ass. If y'all know what I'm talking about, let me know. Okay, now hold on, hold on, hold on. I I, I gotta read y'all this paragraph. Like this, this, this might be some some voluptuous cap, or this, this might be promising, man. Dribble movement. The dribbler was rebuilt from the ground up for next gen. And the difference is night and day. They said in the last blog that it's like the same so we could go to the lab and learn the moves. I, I, I'm confused. We retain the concept of signature dribble styles that we introduced a couple years ago. But otherwise, everything was scrapped and re, re, architectic? <laughs> is that the word? <laughs> bringing a completely different feel with the ball in your hands for next gen. Additionally, protect and post movement saw massive upgrades. What? <laughs> There's more cheese with L2, bro? That's crazy. Protect the ball, like, centers L2 on so people can dex. Um, you already can't rip people in L2. Uh, post movement has been stupid OP <clears throat> since the beginning of time. Builds that can't speed boost can speed boost faster than a guard and just spam it back and forth until they get um, a lane that they feel is most comfortable in an angle 
to cheese and break the game. I don't know why post movement is seeing an upgrade when 95% of the community is telling you nerf post scores, nerf post movement, take out the post speed boost. I don't understand it. Um, hopefully shit don't get toxic. <laughs> post post score at uh anywho man y'all let me know how y'all think post score gonna be next or next gen the aspect of dribble movement that excites me the most is the predictability and consistency of it i hope so i mean i hope so bro you know that that's one of the major flaws in 2k it's much easier to go exactly where you want on the floor and in the manner that you expect to get there I hope so. No unwanted turns are having your player face the wrong way. No bursting up to speed or failed cuts. It just works. And because it's built using the same engine as the pro stick dribble move system, movement and moves work together cohesively. Player speeds are more accurate to real life and the sense of weight feels more realistic. Here we go. Here we go with the clickbait of the weight. Hey man. Next year, I'm still lowest weight for everything, bro. Um, if weight starts to really matter, <clears throat> it's really going to change the game. Hopefully it don't, you know. It's a complete package, and I don't, don't think I can overstate how much it's elevated my enjoyment of playing the game. This from Mike Wayne, right? Hey, Mike Wayne, let me catch you in the park, bro. I got, I got, I want to, bro, I want to drop off Mike, man bad so they really trying to focus on the off ball movement man one of the cheesiest aspects of 2k that's crazy hey stretch bigs are here sharps are here it's sounding like okay okay wait wait they said some defense too bro look listen listen to this this is some of this sound promises some of this sound toxic improve pathing cuts and stops to make defenders feel more grounded and fix a lot of sliding from previous. That sounds amazing because y'all know on defense you slide. Y'all let me know if y'all slide on defense too. Um, I hope they don't buff cuts. Cuts are already toxic. Hopefully now you can stop people from cutting. Um, hopefully that's what that means. And um, there's some more promising things in here. Okay, it's saying overall improvement you can con control exactly what you want to do on the sticks now here's 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 where it sounds extra promising y'all be sure to follow me on twitch lord baby hulk updated player size detection logic and a greater emphasis on player differentiation on player differentiation <laughs> bigs move like bigs i hope so they've been moving like guards for the longest and guards move like guards this includes a lot of new animation content to support signature motion style your left stick allows you to play quick steps i guess that means speed boosting um a lot easier okay now there's a there's an emphasis on foot planting it looks like walk backs is going to be op like 2k18 and and etc man um this seems cool you know to really have full control over your player hopefully when you stop uh you can shoot the ball and you don't fade um that needs to go away completely okay so basically what they're saying in this paragraph of body ups is that it's gonna be less canned animations and also i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read this part to you because you know this sounds promising I think the next gen version of NBA 2K21 strikes a great balance between rewarding, taking proper driving angles and respecting contact. Attempting to drive head first directly into a defender will stop them in their tracks. I hope so. Lead to charges or forced pickups. When you attach onto players and you know the weight and all that stuff's there, you know, it'll be more realistic things that 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 should happen um hey they're saying strong ball handlers will be able to crab people instantly and ride out of being a uh, like road um but other i guess hopefully non-ball handlers can't do that that would make a you know a reason for making a smaller player you know oh my god <laughs> hold on hold on hold on 
Gone are the vacuum screens. Oh my God, bro, hold on. Gone are the vacuum screens that have plagued basketball games in the past where defenders would get pulled into a screen collision and run into the... Bro. I hope so. You know, they're talking about all this kind of buffing to screens, but they're saying vacuum screens are gone. Will the skill gap finally be in implemented? Y'all let me know if y'all think screens is, is going to disappear. You can reject screens appropriately, go over or under as you'd expect, and die on the screen. If you have a weak defender trying to barrel through a big, it all looks great, but more importantly, feels great for both the offense and defense to get outcomes that make sense in such an important aspect of team basketball. <laughs> I hope that means pick dodgers buffed bro oh my god y'all let me know if y'all think pick dodger is finally okay basically in this paragraph right here they are talking about paint defense the impact engine paragraph they're talking about paint defense how there's going to be less canned animations and now you can control your player and you don't get pulled into animation because of the next gen this and that and so it's a whole system and engine and all this that the next gen allows them to do and um they're saying Pete, they gonna have you gonna have real control over your player to stop that paint cheese hopefully one thing that worries me is they're now saying that there's contact alley-oops alley-oops are already overpowered uh i hope that doesn't get abused but I can understand on little players, but not locks and bigs. That, that shit's just aids to me. On ground contact also saw major upgrades, specifically with charge and block fouls. I don't know too much how I feel about all this. Beating the shooter to the spot and getting set will yield a lot more successful charge calls on the offense. While being late will give you more blocking fouls, we've also added crash layups for the situation where the shooters barrels into the defense, but a charge or blocks aren't warranted. I don't really know what, what that, these animations will help convey to the player that they are forcing the issue and hopefully teach them to respect paint defenders next time they go inside. If you can't get around the defense, sometimes it's better to shoot a floater or a pull-up jumper. Uh, hey, I love the defense, man. My favorite player was Scottie Pippen before Future fucked this bitch. So I don't, I don't know, man. I'm all about the defense. Y'all think I'm all about the offense, but I'm about the defense. Okay, right here, right here. This sounds like it could be scary, or that it could be helpful. Mostly, mostly, mostly worrisome, man. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> They're saying for the adaptive triggers, we've opted to use them to convey energy and fatigue. As you move around the court, you'll feel more and more resistance on the sprint trigger as your player's energy drains. I don't like that. I don't like that. We need stamina, man. The more speed, the more stamina, the bigger the skill gap. We also use adaptive resistance in the post game. Strong post players, all this post scoring shit. Um, I don't know, bro. The shit need to be nerfed. I don't know what's wrong with these niggas. Injury. Injury system. Hold on. Hey, nigga, I better not be getting hurt in my career, bro. Basically, this paragraph, bro, they're saying that strength is basically going to play a role in everything, man. In the body-to-body -body contact with box outs, body ups, um, off-ball collisions, deny rides, all that shit. It's gonna give you a bunch of vibration, depending on how much. Um, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Hopefully they don't they don't clickbait it. Y'all let me know what build is gonna be your first build um, in next year. Okay, so for next week, make sure y'all turn on post notices. Mike Wang is gonna reveal player builds badges takeover and improvements to the artificial intelligence okay okay so that's probably gonna be the the best one but hey man anywho make sure y'all subscribe if you know go check out my other videos sub to my second channel you want to see the raised Tajas. 
hit that like button subscribe post notice i'm out this hole y'all have a beautiful day bro appreciate y'all and yeah